Many of Major League Soccer's rookies have been seeing significant playing time this season, none more than defender Darius Barnes of the New England Revolution. Once I got signed, I thought it was going to be like a kind of a gradual process that I kind of, you know, just kind of get acclimated with all the other players and, you know, try to prove myself and just kind of be there when the team needed me. But I, ne I never really thought that I'd be counting on this much so far and this early into the season. When you're given opportunities, you have to take the best of it. And um, that's what I've tried to do so far this year. I mean, physically, I'm holding up fine. I mean, like you said, it is a big, big change. Uh, with college, it's probably about half the season that the professional season is. So that's, that's something you have to get used to. I think I go into games now with a lot more confidence and uh, I mean I have a little bit of experience under my belt now, uh, 13 games, so I mean a lot, a lot of the guys are actually counting on me now. I mean as before I know I had to kind of prove myself, whereas now I have more confidence in myself on the field and you know my teammates have more confidence in me and they have higher expectations for me so I, I really don't want to let them down now. Darius and his rookie teammate and fellow defender Kevin Alston have been gelling on and off the field. It, it's like he's a, a smooth player but you know he he does all the things you know you need him to do. You know he wins all the head balls. You know he's always on the the, uh, the forwards back. You know he doesn't let him turn. You know he's just a he's a big player in the center back, and he just uh, he imposes his will. I'd probably say his aggressiveness, and then also the way he gets forward. I mean, anytime Kevin gets forward, then the opposing team definitely has to you know account for that. Because anytime he goes forward, he's definitely dangerous with the ball. And I mean, as you've seen this year, every time he's going forward, there's been a lot of goal scoring opportunities for us. And the way he defends is just, you know, second to none, his tenacity and the way he gets after players. I mean, you rarely seen him get beat this year, which is, you know, unheard of for a rookie. We didn't really meet until I actually got here. I mean, we played against each other my senior year at the uh, IU Classic, where Kevin, Kevin scored a lucky goal, actually. But, uh, I mean, uh, we, we knew each other, I knew of him, but we didn't actually meet until we got here. And then from there, things just kind of just kind of went along. We uh, uh, developed a good relationship. I mean, after practice, you know, always catch me, Kevin, and Mechie playing some Bomberman or, Halo or something like that. Anytime you're playing alongside somebody, you know, if it's on the defense, midfield, wherever, you know, it's important to have a good relationship, a good bond, you know, to know each other's tendencies, you know. Both players credit their selection by New England as a huge factor in their early success. You know, initially when I heard my name called, you know, the first thing that came to my mind was, you know, the, you know, just the overall tradition of success, like you said, that the revolution has had in the past years. And you know the great players they had. I knew the Taylor Twelman, Shari Joseph, Steve Ralston. So, you know, my initial reaction was just, you know, I think it's going to be a good situation, a good, a good team to go to, a good team to grow and learn and improve. Even Matt Reese, you know, being behind me and just giving me pointers, you know, being the eyes in the back of my head, and you know, he really helps me with, helps me with, you know, communicating and talking. And Jay helps me with positioning, and you know, he'll come over and give me pointers or at the end of practice be like, you know what, something like that, you know, that you did that good, keep doing that, or you see what happened over there, you know, try and do it this way and it should help, it should help you out. The coaches picked us for a reason and, you know, I think he believes in the coaches and believes in us and, you know, he, he knows we can do it and he expects us to do it. And, you know, he has a very high standard of level, play, everything, and, you know, he expects us to be up there, but at the same time, you know, it takes time. So he's helping us to get there. I think coming in, uh, getting drafted to the Reds was the best thing for me because I heard nothing but great things about Stevie and Paul and uh, all the players that I was going to be surrounded with, including Taylor Twelman and Jay Heaps and uh, Shari Joseph, just a, a core group of guys like that. I mean, you can't do anything but get better. And I think, I mean, that's what I've done so far is just, just gotten better just by listening to the advice of those guys and seeing them play on the field. Jay Heaps has been, been the biggest help to me just because, I mean, at the beginning of the season, we both started off playing center back together and um, him being a Duke boy, it's just kind of a common bond we had together. We could always, you know, relate back. He'd tell me some of the old Duke stories, and uh, I'd tell him what's the recent things going on. Like these two rookies, right back Jeremy Hall has been thrust into the starting lineup, having played in 16 of the Red Bulls games as of week 18 of the MLS season. Um, i say the high point is just um, coach trusting me to give me so many minutes my first year. Um, I didn't think, you know, coming into it that I'd get as many minutes, but you know, in preseason, you just work hard and you, you know, prove to your teammates that you can play at this level. Even coming out for warm-up, I mean, the stadium was starting to fill up and uh, I just had a, you know, smile on my face, you know, as their fans are taunting you and stuff. And I remember Pecky just came up to me and was like, you know, you're going to remember this one for the rest of your life. And, you know, I do. I still remember every minute of it, just, you know, warming up there. And, you know, when Coach looked at me and said warm up, I was like, geez. And then my heart started pounding and the fans are yelling at me still. And then, you know, I thought maybe I'd go in at halftime or, he pulled me in like 30 minutes in and I'm just, he's like, you know, don't worry, you know, you're ready for this. And I come on and 
I remember giving the first two balls away, but then after that, you know, I settled in. I thought I did pretty well, but you know, that was that was a big highlight for me. Adjusting to the professional game is one thing, but Hall has also been learning a new position. You know, coming into it, I've been an attacking player uh, my whole career, and you know, when I came here, um, coach saw me as a right back. So, um, you know, it's been positive. Um, coaches have helped me out a lot. Um, I've been through a lot of video. Um, after games, um, before games, seeing players that I'm going up against. Um, and like I said, you know, the older guys, Pecky, uh, Boyens, have helped me out a lot, you know, with my positioning, because I think that's one of the big things as a defender is putting yourself in right spots to, you know, go up and close down a midfielder. Like most rookies, though, Hall has also had some low points. The low point, I guess, would be the mistake that I made versus Seattle. I felt terrible after that. Um, I don't know, just one of those things where, um, I, I thought, you know, I had to save it, and I did, and I took a bad touch, and, you know, we were winning 1-0, and it was just, you know, another goal that we give up in the last five minutes, so that one hurt a little bit, the results that we're getting. Um, I think that, you know, we're a talented team, and we have a lot of good players on our team, and, you know, everything's just not falling for us right now. Um, you know, we're giving up soft goals, and, you know, we're not scoring enough, so um, definitely the, the losing and, you know, the tying, I think, is uh, the lowest point right now but he's had veterans and fellow Maryland alums to help him through it. You know, Juan Pablo is, you know, has played at the highest level and, you know, for, you know, to, our captain like that, you know, to have my back, you know, um, you know, I mean a lot, you know, because, I mean, the season's been going so bad right now and he could have, you know, pointed the fingers and stuff, but, you know, at halftime he told me, you know, just don't feel sorry for yourself. You know, you made a mistake. We all make mistakes. Just go out there and, you know, don't let it affect you, you know, because um, it's what you do after um, your mistake, you know, that really defines you. And, now, you know, I took that to heart and I just tried to go out there and, you know, play and not let it affect, you know, how I did in the second half. I've talked to, you know, all the guys that came out this year. Um, Omar and AJ play for LA, uh, Graham Zuzzi plays for Kansas City, uh, Rodney plays for DC, and, you know, we all keep in touch. Um, we've eye chatted and Skyped a little bit. Um, we just talk about everything, you know, how's the team going, and we talk about our living situation and stuff. Um, you know, we talk about our Maryland days, and, you know, we, we had some good times there, you know, we are saw each other every day, you know, it's a little bit weird, you know, going up against someone that you've seen, you know, for, you know, three years on a regular basis every day. Um, but, you know, we had some fun, you know, traded jerseys and everything, so it's been great. Next time on Rookie Life, other rookies making noise, part two.